man. Today we're back in Totally Accurate Battle Simulator and today we're going to be doing something pretty amazing. I'm going to be building a mega tank. And then there will also be something later in the video which you'll have to stick around and find out. Let's do it! Alright, so welcome back to Tabs. If you did not see the other video where we covered the World War One, the Wild West, and the World War II mod. Uh, you know, here, let me give you a little insight into what this mod is kind of like here. Alright, go ahead and move there, Jeep. <laughs> it's so derpy! Look at it! So, what I discovered was... Uh, the Jeep, I think, in... Maybe not the Jeep, but the plane, at least, from what I can tell, uses the uh, movement of the cavalry. Because if you watch it, you can kind of see how he kind of zooms in, and then he zooms again, and he goes around, and then he zooms again, or he just kills it. And they also have guns, obviously. Uh, also, I was right about the eyeballs. I saw it again. It's not here now. So anyway, this is a collaboration of a bunch of different things and today We're gonna make a super tank and it's gonna be amazing a mega tank a massive mega tank And you might be like Antec, how are you gonna do that? Well, you're just gonna have to watch okay, but before we do that I'm gonna do some of the things that you guys asked to see such as having like a sniper battle Which I didn't think about doing because I thought there's no way that this would be entertaining to watch, but then when you actually watch them shoot and they utterly fail at shooting each other, then it all oh, 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 it's a little bit more entertaining when one of them finally does hit. Look at the look at the force. He got knocked back so far. The force of this man. <laughs> he were just a young and what and what is this thing on their head? You will be missed there, Master Blue. This massive medieval army, right? It's huge. There's nothing that could take this army out, and especially not all these kings. Well, I think maybe this one machine gunner. <laughs> Look at him. He's like, don't, don't put this kind of pressure on me, man. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. I didn't sign up for this. I think he might be able to do it. Okay, I, I'm not too sure, but I think maybe he can. He seems like he might be capable. He is in no way near the same epicness of the other MG unit that we have seen previously with like the nice little minigun. Oh dude, he's so dead. You are so dead, my man. Woo! I thought maybe he could do it, but nope. I want to see like, oh, he's getting, he's getting night rushed. It's all over, man. He's all over for you. Oh, they can't hit him. Oh, nope, he did. He, he did it. He did it. Let's put a machine gun pistol, dude. And if this doesn't work, we'll try that. Look at the machine gun pistol. How is it better? How is it better than that other MG unit? Come on, man. Look at him. I mean, that's a pretty good mod looking assets, you know? Oh, he's backed himself up against the corner of a tree over here. See, look at the machine gun and pistol guy. He can do it. You're worthless, MG. You're just a distraction. Oh, don't get too close. What are you, crazy? There's a king, man. He's got a gigantic sword. Oh, he's using the height to his advantage over here. Don't fall off the edge. <laughs> look at this wedged in there. Oh, gosh. Back up, dude. No. Oh, he dodged it. Hit him. You only got one dodge, dude. Hit the king. Oh my gosh. How did he survive that? I thought for sure he was a goner. I survived, Thompson. You will be remembered forever. Here lies Sergeant Delano Donut. And uh not Thompson, Delano Donut. He was a he was a brave young lad, but he is no more. Just remember this big brawl map? all the vikings that were like impossible to defeat well i got myself some shotgunners from the wild west here i think they might be able to do it <laughs> i don't actually know they might die there's a good chance they're gonna die oh gosh shoot man oh no they're dodging dip dodge duck and dodge and dive and those things oh 
gosh, okay. They're a failure. What about, what if we use, uh, what if we use these, uh, repeater guys? These guys are sweet, man. The repeaters are awesome. We're gonna spread them out a little bit so they don't all die. Woo! Y'all getting shot up. Oh, the archers, though. Oh. Here come the jumpers. Okay, so maybe this is not as easy to do as I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> He's just jumping into everything. So maybe Big Brawl is just as hard for everything, huh? I thought that the shotguns would win it. Oh, here we go. Gatling gun. See what happens here. Oh, man. Oh! <laughs> yes. Yes, you like? You like? Oh, gosh. Never mind. Listen, if you know the number of PETA, you better start dialing. Because we're going to get these mammoths and we're going to make them go extinct again. They're going to get even more extincter. <laughs> extincter? <laughs> Obviously, I tried to say a wrong a word that's not an actual word, okay? But anyway, these mammoths here, they're going to they're gonna go back to the grave. You know what I'm saying? Back to the Ice Age. Because we got some Gatling guns, too. Gatling guns, the mammoths. Oh, jeez, they're dropping like flies. This might not actually work because of the... Uh, because of the way that the uh, the mammoths like pile up, and they take forever to die. Get them! They got like a huge hitbox too. Hit them! Come on now! Eh? Get those mammoths! Make them extincter! Get get them! Eh. You don't can't even you don't even point at them. It doesn't even work that way. Yo mammoths! Mammoths! about to die. Okay, this is not as entertaining to watch as I thought. What was this Stevenson gun? Is it a shotgun? It looks like a shotgun. I think it's a shotgun, isn't it? Oh, gosh. I'd, I'd say so. Here we go. Oh, yeah. It's definitely a shotgun type of weapon. Oh, yo. Back up, my man. Oh, gosh. I'm getting poked. Oh, what? Are you kidding? Oh, the last guy! Come on, man. I'm gonna back up this time. Yeah. I thought I said right mouse button at the end there. Oh, no. Oh, no. There's a wall somewhere. I know there's a wall. Getting for death the wall. Back up his face. Oh, man. I'm not as good as I thought I was. Don't worry, we're gonna make that tank here in a second, okay? And also, we're gonna have a plain dog fight too. I forgot to say that. We're gonna dog fight in this video. This video is gonna be a little longer. I think. No, no, don't poke me. Don't poke me with your things. I don't wanna get poked. Oh gosh, this guy. Okay, forget these. Okay, they don't fire fast enough. All right, guys, we're gonna make a mega tank. Now, the way to do it that I noticed you could do in the last one is even though the tank is this big you can kinda of put them together cause it's like one little dot so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna make a mega tank just like this oh my gosh and I wanna see if there's anything that can defeat this look at this 61 in there 60 look at this thing look at it it's insane. <laughs> ah, it's a beautiful, beautiful beast. I wish you could like turn turn the unit sideways, you know? Because I can't really like get a good screenshot of this. You know, like a good angle for it? I mean, I wish I could turn it. All right, so that's the mega tank, okay? So then what we're going to do is we're going to make an army. We're going to see if there's an army that can defeat this. Ooh, I just noticed some other units too. Mortar bomb, bomb one, and Mark V machine gunner. So yeah, we're gonna find out what mortar bomb is here in a little bit, I guess. Okay, there's 60 tanks versus 100 units with a bunch of ranged. Now, I actually think it might not take as much to defeat these things as I'm thinking, but there's so many of them that, oh, and they have M MGs too. Holy crap. 
Holy crap. I don't actually know if there's anything that can defeat the mega tank. Why are these guys going backwards over here? Wait, what? Why were they going this way? It's very strange. Okay, we need a lot more units. Okay, actually, I'm gonna see if Dynasty can do it. Because they got a lot of samurai to deflect shots. Some watcha, a dragon, and some monkey kings. Which I don't actually know if the dragon's gonna make it back there. But, uh, are the samurai deflecting shots? Why would you shoot in the back? Why would you shoot your guys in the back? They're not deflecting those shots. Okay, but they are getting closer though. As if something weird is occurring. Why are the watcher? See, it's very, they're acting very strange. Like, why are they going over here? Oh, we got some samurai, some samurai made it. We still have all of the tanks up though. I think I maybe put too many tanks in. <laughs> I think maybe there's too many. What are they doing? What is happening? Yeah, perhaps there's too many tanks. Perhaps just a tad too many, okay? <laughs> We've called on the hay balers to act as our shield while the watchers get ready to fire. Holy smokes! And they're still getting blasted on through! <laughs> Holy smokes, the cannon blast! Yeah, the watchers are doing it though. But is it gonna be enough? Okay, if this doesn't work, then they, this is definitely too many tanks. I mean, there's really no way to know and count. Yeah, so that didn't work. <laughs> 60 tanks versus 60 planes. We have called on the planes to drop bombs and to see, dude, look at this mayhem. Like, how am I supposed to be able to tell who's, like, what, you, what side? Because all the tanks are red, all the planes are red. Like, there's gonna be no way to know, like, who's winning and what, and who's on what side. What is occurring? What is this? What are these things? The, the cannonballs? What in the world is even happening? Look at how they move. <laughs> you can move in a plane side to side. It's pretty funny. Yeah, I think they move like the cavalry, but you can control them actually, which is pretty cool. All right. There they go. I can't tell who's winning. I think the tanks are like impervious. Look at them. There's still a ton. Have they even died? Have any even died? Guys, I literally created a, a monster. I literally created the mega tank. And there's it's so good that it can't be beaten. Okay, I think it's safe to say it can't be beaten. All right, so somebody suggested to do a dog fight. And I thought that's a pretty cool idea, like to do some plane action. Cause that's like the one thing we didn't do in the last one was actually have planes fight each other. But look, they're the same color. So there's like, it's like impossible to tell who's on what side. Okay, 10v10. Should I control one? Oh, see how they kind of... Okay, that's way too hard. I you, you literally can't tell what's happening. You cannot tell what's occurring. Who's winning and who's losing. It's just a mess. Wait, why? Why? How many are... This, there's tons of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven left. It's like the red side didn't even lose any. What about attack planes? Five, six, seven. We'll do eight. Eight v ten. I mean, this is like the only way to tell who's who. They're dropping, trying to drop bombs on the on the planes. Not the pilots aren't too bright over here. What the heck? Right, here we go. I guess the recon plane would win because it is shooting MGs versus. Trying to drop bombs and stuff. But why is the red side winning? Why are they winning? I don't understand. If they win this time, I'm going to be so confused. Look how many there are. It's a, just a mess. Yeah, so this... Thanks for the suggestion, but maybe if they were blue, if they would change colors. This is lasting way too long 
Yo. What? Oh, wait. I'm so confused. Why? Is it the spacing? Let's try this. I'm going to try again. Why? Why are they winning all of these fights? This makes no sense. There's le way less of them. Okay, let's try 22. It, it, it must be spacing or something, right? I found like some kind of weird glitch where the red side can't lose. <gasps> wait, <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> wait, what? Guys, I'm so confused right now. Why? I don't even know. I, I, I can't even do this anymore. I mean, I have to like stop. My my brain is, I'm having I'm having mental problems over here. I mean, I don't even understand it. Anyway, thanks for watching. That's it. Goodbye. Hope you have a great day.